Hey, so welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to briefly and basically go over the outputs on the Behringer Zenith X1204 USB mixer. This mixer actually has six different outputs. So it has the two main outputs, it has Alt 3 and 4 outputs, and it has the control room outputs. I'm also going to leave some links to other videos that go more in depth on the specifics and different setups that you can do with different combinations of these outputs, since it does get a little complicated and there's a lot of ways that you can use these. But in short, this will be your main outputs, of course, like it says. The Alt 3, 4, when you choose channels for these two outputs, will mute it from the main output and use those channels exclusively for whatever's input into that particular channel. The control room outputs are designed to be monitoring, like in the recording studio. So everything is always going to go through these two particular outputs, including your main outputs and your Alt three, four outputs so you can hear everything through here. So taking that in consideration, you could theoretically put instruments into four different channels, mute two of these channels to the main output and have them at the alt three and four positions. And you could have four channels out so you can do four track recording. And that's kind of like what Behringer uh, specifies in the instruction manual is that these can be used for four track recording. Another thing you can use these for is for monitors. So in that case though, you would actually use your control room. If you're doing a live gig, you would use your control room out as your main out so that everything goes through it. And then you could connect monitors, for example, to the singer from one of the alts, they could listen to it individually, and still you could get the audience to hear every channel through the control room output. So what I did is I connected this speaker to the alt 4 out on the back of the mixer. And we have that volume up here. And then I have that other speaker connected to the right channel on the main output, and we'll see the difference. So I have channel four connected, let's put that volume up there, with the Alt 3, 4 off. So when I sound check it with the Alt off, testing one, two, three, I'm only getting sound coming out of the main output. Since this speaker is connected to the Alt 3, 4, nothing comes out because I have it turned off. Now, if I had two speakers connected to the main output, of course, both would get sound. So this is just the output on the Alt 4. So if we press the button, mute comes on. And now testing one, two, three, I get sound from the channel connected to the Alt 4 out no sound coming from the main output. Testing one, two. Testing one, two. So main out only gets sound. Alt four now only gets sound. So the idea there is that you connect that to a multi-track recorder in this channel would be one recording channel, an individual channel, you can put, hook up another instrument or another microphone to this one. And that's how you can turn this into a four channel or a four track mixer. Now, if you want to actually include this into the mix, let's try something a little different. I'm going to connect, I'm going to leave one speaker connected to the Alt 4 out and connect the other one to the control room out. All right, so I switch those around. This one speaker is now connected to the control room out. And this speaker is still connected to the Alt 4. So in a live studio situation, now you could actually make this a monitor for the singer or whatever and still include it in 
your sound out in your main mix by using the control out as your main mix out. So that control room out is controlled by this volume. There's no right and left, that's the drawback. But you can choose main mix, all three, four, or you can do both at the same time. You can depress both, main mix, all three, four, and now testing one, two, three, I get sound from my monitor and you can hear it on that control room out. So anything that's hooked up to the mixer, whether it's even if it's muted, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three, I can still hear it there and there. So I can choose a three and four out, control the volumes here, three and four, and I can still have the whole mix come out the main speakers in a live situation. So now I have my monitor and I have that channel go to the main mix also. So you have a lot of control. You have your three channel, four channel, right and left main and your control room. I know this gets very, very tricky and a little confusing. So best thing to do is hook up your setup and play with it, okay? And check out the other videos that I'm putting on the links, which go into how you're gonna do it for recording. In other words, using the all three, four as intended, which is so that you can use four channels for recording, for multi-track recording, uh, or how you can use it in a live venue to use the all three, four as a vocal monitor or sound monitor for a specific channel while at the same time still having your venue listen to the entire mix. Like I said again, I know it's confusing. Best thing is to play with it, watch the other videos, and hopefully this gives a little clarity on how to use the control room out with the main mix versus all three, four, and how muting this affects the main mix out where you're actually not gonna hear this. Uh, and it's only going to play through that one channel. So give it some thought, play around with it. Very confusing until unless you actually do it hands on. Thanks for watching.